Welcome! Today we will talk about fraction comparisons with models. Fractions are used to represent a part of a whole. The bottom number of a fraction called the denominator shows how many equal parts it takes to make the whole. In our example, it takes three equal parts to make the whole. The top number represents the number of parts being described. It is called the numerator. There are two parts represented with pizza on the model. The model represents two-thirds. When comparing fractions, you can draw models to determine which fraction is larger. When comparing the models, they must be the same exact size. Look at the denominator of the fraction 2 eighths. It tells us for this model we need to split it into eight equal parts. The numerator tells us that two of those parts are filled in. For the second fraction, the denominator is four. This means the model will be split into four equal parts. The numerator is three, so three parts out of the four need to be shaded in. Now we look at the models to determine which fraction is larger. More of the three-fourths model is shaded than the two-eighths model. This means two-eighths is less than three-fourths. Number lines can also be used to compare fractions. I draw a line measuring one inch. The first fraction has a denominator of eight. This means eight equal parts of the whole. I mark each eighth of an inch on the ruler. The numerator is two. I find the second eighth marked and label it two eighths. On the top of the number line, I label each fourth of an inch because the denominator of the second fraction is four. The numerator is three. I label the third fourth marked on the top of the number line with three fourths. Three fourths is further along the number line than two eighths. This means two eighths is less than three fourths. Fraction comparison can be made easier by using models. Enjoy your practice.